hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how to change this column length directly by using this direct modification tool okay let's start open tecla structures with indian environment before going to create column we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines type here elevation on grid S similarly type here elevation on and click on create and click on ok and ok now we have created elevation and plan views so now we're going to create a column so click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column and right come on interrupt Initially, we're going to change this bottom level. So double click on this column to open steel column property window. And we're going to change this bottom level zero. Then click on modify and close it. Now we're going to create same columns at here and here. So select this column and click on here. And click on here to place this column. Right click on most interrupt. Now coming to this date modification tool. Currently this is activated. If you want to deactivate, just click on it to, to deactivate. Now to activate this direct modification option, just click on it to activate. By default, you will get this activated direct modification tool. You can see, you can identify background color dark. That means this tool is activated. Okay. Now coming to go to the elevation along grid A. So click on window and select this view list and select elevation on grid A and click on this arrow to open and close this window. You can see now we are in elevation on grid A. Okay, now we're going to change this column length. By default, you can see bottom level we have 0 and top level we have 5000 millimeter. For example, if you wanted to increase this column length uh, 1000 millimeter upward direction, that means total length of this column should be 6000 millimeter. Then select this column. You can see currently we have 5000 millimeter length here. Just click on it. And you can see by default we had three tools here upward direction and both direction and downward direction arrow currently this is activated you can see orange color indicates the activation of this uh, upper tool so currently we have activated this tool that means if you enter the length of this column here the change of the length should be increased on upward direction for example if you want to enter here 6000 millimeter that means uh, we have increased 1000 millimeter that 1000 millimeter will be increased in upward direction you can see oh, we have entered a 6000 millimeter then click on enter on your keyboard to uh, see the changes then click on enter on your keyboard you can see now 1000 millimeter increased in upward direction okay now i'm going to check this dimension so click on edit and click on measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at gradient section point and click on here to check the dimension you can see we have thousand millimeter here click on escape to exit the command you can see we have thousand millimeter increase in upward direction bottom level remains zero there is no changes in our second condition select this column you can see currently we have five thousand five thousand millimeter we wanted to increase the uh, column length of six thousand millimeter uh, but the change is 500 millimeter upward direction and 500 millimeter downward direction that means equally change the length of the column so select this column and you'll get this dimension just click on it and activate this uh, second tool click on it this icon you can see now currently activated this uh, change of both side arrow now enter the total length of this column here 6000 millimeter now click on enter on your keyboard to see the changes you can see click on escape to exit the command and click on space to deactivate this column okay you see this column length is 6000 millimeter this column length also 6000 millimeter but the change is uh, in in our first column increase 1000 millimeter upward direction only but in this column uh, 500 millimeter upward and 500 millimeter downward but the total length of the column should be same okay now we're going to check this dimension this 500 millimeter this length should be 500 millimeter and bottom also 500 millimeter now i'm going to check here click on measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point 
at the end of the column and pick the second point at gradient section point and click on here to place the dimension you can see 500 millimeter similar we're going to check here bottom select the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see we have 500 millimeter okay now coming to the third case click on escape to exit the command and select this column and you will get the dimension here click on it and uh, in third case we're going to uh, select this option third option bottom arrow and enter here the length 6000 millimeter in this case the change of the length should be in downward direction that means 1000 millimeter increase in bottom side okay click on enter on your keyboard to see the change click on escape to exit the command and uh, now we're going to check this dimension bottom side should be 1000 millimeters so click on measure and set this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point here and click on here to place the dimension click on escape to exit the command you can see now we have 1000 millimeter in downward direction that means the change of length should be in downward direction these three options are available in this direct modification you can use this uh, uh, tool to increase or uh, reduce this column length okay click on window and select this 3d view you can see like this okay that's it about how to use this direct modification tool to increase the column length or reduce by using this direct modification tool if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel ganyaski youtube channel okay thank you